What up, gang? What up, squad? It's your boy, Are You Theories, the realest, the coolest, the trellis, young king. Only to pop as we speak. Welcome back for another lit banger. We got AMP to base the N word. I know that's been a big thing um, in the community now, um, here recently. I guess, um, hold on, hold on. Who's making all that noise? Um, about that boy Ray, uh, the Asian boy Ray said it or almost said it and you know people went crazy or whatever so i guess that's what sparked this video right here and we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what they got to say i don't feel comfortable like I, the n-word to me man people just played that ish out everyone says it everyone you know what i'm saying now just like most black people nowadays if you say it with like like you talking about like f you n-word like you know what i'm saying and you another race oh yeah we scrapping like you know what i'm saying like now you're disrespecting me but Oh, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to warn you. Hey, stop saying that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just just don't say it around me. Say it around your other people. You know what I'm saying? But that's the only time I'm going to really scrap if you say, like, if you disrespect me. That's just disrespect in general. You know what I'm saying? But if you throw the N-word out there, you know, you got a little extra ass whooping coming your way. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead and hear what they got to say. If you're new, subscribe, like the video. Comment some more bangers. If y'all want me to react to more AMP, you know what to do. Hit the comment section below. Let me know. Let's get it. Right. I think you guys are trying to paint this with a black and white brush, and it's not that simple. Get her, get her out of here. If I did that. Damn, that boy Chris went bald. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm like, I thank God my hair is still intact. Because I know niggas younger than me that's already bald, bro. It's called. Come on. What he said? If AP says, if you must choose between visiting your best friend and he is dying, or your child being born, you should choose your visiting your best friend. Uh. Hell no. Well, damn, that's a tough spot to be in. Either see your best friend pass away, or see your baby be born. Well, shit. Luckily, I ain't got no best friend, so I ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> It's two ways you can look at it. You know, Is that old Nipsey you. Hustle? If, what? If you have <laughs> Get his ass out of here. Oh, they, they answering questions? Oh, hell no. I think I, I might have to see my baby be born. Because my kids are my world, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Chris is bald. He went bald. I believe the wife come first. That best friend can wait. He dying. We're talking about, we're talking about. He dying. Listen, I know, right. I don't, know, but. So the, so the best friend can't wait. Cause that's it, he, he gonna die, wait. he gonna die. But you also have one chance to see your child being born. So the wife and the baby come first. Facts, even if it's your first kid, who's to say they won't be your last kid? You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about that one, boy. Listen, listen, listen. They got videos now, pictures, all that. Like, all right, look, I met I met five amazing guys in my life, and if one of them in the ICU when they dying, I, I gotta go see them. I'ma be real. I'ma be real. I'm so real. I got to. And my son, my daughter, I can see him on video, okay? All right, but the next day. Bro, video is not the same as real life. And you're not even there with your woman that's giving birth to your kid, bro. You think she gonna forgive you? And trust me, you. Hey, that's a whole nother road we gotta go down. We not gonna hey, do that. I'll be with my kids. Yeah, we gonna leave my for sure. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so I mean, the main thing is I can tell you don't have children, correct? Nah, nah, not no, yet. No, not okay, yet. so like she said, it's only one time you get that event. Based on what type of best friend you got, where I'm from, Chicago, one of my partners could have got into something. I know he hot. You hear me? And if my wife, my beautiful wife over there giving birth to one of my kids, and you know I just told you, hey, shit, the water just broke. I'm gonna be honest, I might not fuck with my son if I miss my man's dying. <laughs> but you, you young though, so I can give you what? that perspective. <laughs> <laughs> you me <laughs> Bro, that is insane. Hello. What's Why your thing? Hey guys. Well, I believe the wives come first. It's a lot of women dying of birth these days. So if you have the opportunity, I believe you should go see your child. You hear Duke in the background quiet because he the only member in AMP with a kid. At least that we know of. Everybody know Duke got a daughter. I see both sides, but I think we all looking at it from an aspect of absolute death. Or you could compromise. Spend time with your wife until she has the child. No, 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 he's dead. Nah, he's done. He's done, it's over. Hey, like, there's God no, damn. there's no <clears throat> if, ands, or buts about this. My dog is dying. He's dead. Yeah, he's dying. That's what I'm saying. Doctors may bring him back to life. Oh, nah, he's dying. No, they say he's dying. He's dying. <laughs> like, they, like, they made the call say he's about to get out of here. Like, you want to come see him or what? 
Hey guys, listen, I'm speaking from a perspective of being married for 23 years. Mm. I have four. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. It ain't easy. I know it ain't easy. Partner. Having four best friends for close to 50 years. Damn. My best friends and I will all agree that if it came down to it, to the birth of our child and their death, there's no way I'm turning my back on my wife leaving her in that position of giving birth. I love these guys to death. Thanks. But when it comes to the birth of my, 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 my child, I wish you the best. I'll pray for you. I'll see you at the funeral. How would y'all feel <laughs> said, if y'all father the said, I didn't, I, I didn't get to see y'all? He did that, that shit, happened man. Me, That already happened. That already happened. That already happened. But wait, already happened. wait, wait, wait. What, oh, what if y'all father said? My pops ain't cool. <laughs> he need a hug. <laughs> what? Both them niggas need a hug. What if y'all father said I didn't get to see y'all, you know, get born, you know, born because my friend passed away? How would y'all make that feel? As a child, as an adult, you would say, oh, you know, you probably would say whatever. But as a child, you will always remember that your father was not there because <laughs> because he went and got rescued. Now, now, now. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. This nigga is bald, bro. Oh my god. He is bald. No, what I'm saying, this, this for y'all. I'm just giving you something to look at. <laughs> this is old ass Nipsey Hustle. Old ass Nipsey Hustle. AMP says, Your girl should not attend her ex's funeral. If the nigga dead, does it really matter at this point? <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> What's going on, man? I feel like she could go. Like, he dead. What? He ain't nothing he could do. She Fast, can't he, hey, he ain't, he ain't knocking boots with her no more. You ain't got to worry about that. And if she knocking boots with him, obviously she got something else a little wrong with her, if you know what I mean. But, bro, you good, homie. When they can get back together, they, <laughs> I'm just going, going to show my respect. Like, now, why you know she even saying? know that nigga dead? <laughs> bro, they probably got each other on the gram. It depends how close they were and how long they dated. They might still have family members, long lost family members they forgot. Oh, R.I.P. Boo Boo, R.I.P. Philip, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? Any dead nigga, you know what I'm saying? So you, you just never know, bro. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> he dead. What the fuck they gotta do with me? He done. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's cool. cool. He's cool. You He's cool. That chapter officially. It's big. It's big. Uh, what are you talking about? You know, it closed. Actually, your baby moms or baby father. Uh, then that's then that's like. Yeah. Nah, I'm coming. I'm just going with her. And what? <laughs> you know, I'm just gotta see what she gonna say and shit. <laughs> Oh you want to hear the eulogy? You're not paying for a BBL. No. I'm not okay. paying. I don't want to pay for my girlfriend's BBL. You cheat, bro. That's no, fun. I'm not being cheap. Because this is not the first time I done heard you say some shit like that, though. That you're not paying for shit. It's my girl. Should you pay for your girl's BBL? If you my woman and I got the bread, well, luckily, the woman I want, she don't need no BBL. <laughs> but let's say, like, okay, you want to get, you know, BBL, you know, stomach touch, titties, whatever, you know. I, if, if it's my woman, I'm going to pay. Now, it depends on how long we've been together, though. Now, if we've been together for a few months, fuck no. We got to be in this bitch for years for me to even want to spend that type of money on you. You know what I'm saying? Even, if, even when I get big and I start, you know, having money and shit. We still got to be in for a minute before I start dropping the bag on you. No matter how big my bag is. Because I don't trust a soul. You feel me? I feel like anybody just trying to get what they need from me and bounce. You know what I'm saying? So you got to show me you here through the rain, the storms, the sunshine, all that. You feel me? Girlfriend, right? Yeah. Meaning that I fell in love with her for her. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Ah, oh, they got Kai on the other side. Or if she, if, she, if she comes to me. And say, babe, I want to, I want a BBL. I'ma say you don't need that. And ninety, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ninety percent of the times, ninety-nine. Okay. When a girl get a BBL, it's to attract attention, bro. Okay. Let's be honest. Okay, but she's coming to you not for you to persuade her otherwise, like that she shouldn't get it. She's saying, babe, I want a BBL. I'ma say I don't want you to have a BBL. Bro, buy the BBL, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> buy that motherfucker. No. Buy you that motherfucker. get like cosmetic shit to like boost their own personal self-esteem and shit, how they feel about themselves. So like veneers, BBL, yeah, all that shit is included because yeah, like- Yeah, veneers, veneers and shit like that, okay. Yeah, but it's the same thing though. Like people get veneers because no. they don't like they yeah. smile and, and it's affecting their self-esteem. A BBL Damn. and teeth is, is different, gang. I, it's no, it's BBL. not. And, and then she cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait>, hold on. <laughs> if I'm your boyfriend, it is my job 
to make you feel beautiful as, as how you are now. I ain't gonna lie, I have a big forehead. Me too. Right? Damn, Damn, look, me too. Look, Damn. Look, 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 look. Nigga, you all here. You ain't got no big forehead. You all here. And I wanna reduce my forehead. She may not, like, she gonna be like, Oh no, like, I love you for your like, His head your looks regular. Okay, okay, but, but shit, she loves me. <laughs> when you get a BBL, that's, that's not permanent. there's upkeep, right? Yeah, yeah. so there, now she has to keep it up. This is ongoing right. expenses due to, most likely, on average, an insecurity she's dealing with. Because I have an abnormally large forehead. No, yeah, yeah, which right, means right, that, right. you know, for, ah, you for do, a long bro. time, like, you it do. was, it's different than what most people have. With enough character growth, I learned to love that this is part of me. There's a forehead reduction surgery. I will not be getting this shit. AMP says, only black people should be able to say the N-word. Uh-oh, here we go. Of course, they put it at the, in the middle of the video. I'm from Miami, right? Yeah. Okay. So Hispanics and blacks are deep down uh, in all the poor neighborhoods. We grew up around Cubans since 1981. They live on a block just like us. They got mouth full of gold just like us. They talk like us. That's all they know. Now, if they might go to y'all states and city and y'all not cool with that, they might get flipped. They might get killed. You say the Cubans grew up with y'all, right? They leave Miami and go, go to the A. Somebody checked them about saying nigga. What's their excuse? They might get flipped. Might but I'm, I, but that's what I'm saying though. He said they, they gonna get, get flipped. flipped. So, but it, it's wrong now. They gonna get flipped. I feel like it's a derogatory way to use the word, and it's a culture way to use the word. So who can yeah. say it to? Yeah. yeah. In your friend group, and you chilling, and that's how y'all talk. It's, it's just a way of speaking. It's not like you're not coming at them. Like you're not saying that disrespectful. Like, that means you, anybody. If you're not saying you're, if you're not saying if you're not saying you're a nigga. Like you're a nigga. Like if you're not saying it like that, then yeah. But but you're saying that means that you're saying anybody can say it. No. Cause if I have my white friend CB, yeah, my, my friend, yeah, CB come and I'm like, yo, CB, CB, come here, CB, 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 come here, CB, 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 CB come here. CB, CB, my CB, friend, he chill with us every day. He chill with us every okay. single day. Can he say? And I'm like, CB, like, what's good, my nigga? He just coming, you know, what's up, my nigga? But that's how we talk. Yeah, that's not how we talk. Yeah. That's not how you talk. You said specifically uh, that yeah. you guys can talk it out loud. If it's not used in any certain way, then it's fine. Okay, for me, if I did that, like, there's but consequences. But you hear what he said. He said, flip, he said that's how. Flip, he said that's how we talk. Flip. Hold on. But you said that's how we talk. That's not how we talk. If he can't say it. Now this is like a politically correct answer, but technically, the only people who have a pass to say the word nigga is foundational black Americans. We got to a point where anybody who's black, you know, outsiders don't know who's foundational, who's from the islands, who's from Africa. So they group us. So we've all used it. Jokingly, I would agree with you, but I just, at the he same time, joking. I know like, society's gonna view him as a black man. Like when he gets pulled over by the police, he's gonna be a nigga. He is just as black as us to America. And I'm saying that's how the word spread the way it spread. Yeah, okay. and, and now it's a universal language amongst us all. First and foremost, hmm. the word nigga means a non-taxpaying citizen. At that point in time, post-slavery, that word was used towards African-Americans. We were described as Negroes when we came off the slave ships because during the transatlantic slave trade through the Caribbean. Hold on, y'all. In Ireland, the majority spoke Spanish. And because of that, Negro means what in Spanish? Black. Black. So they associated with black. The ignorant version of black means nigga, because we were actually non taxpaying citizens because we weren't considered human beings. So third, Fucked when up. that foundational black shit, Fucked nigga, up. that's crazy. Because at the end of the day, we took that word and we made it, strangely enough, out of love. What y'all don't understand about Hispanic people and Spanish people, they just as black as us. Exactly. When you talk about foundational, Puerto Ricans, Brazilians have black ancestry. You don't understand. I'm gonna teach you right quick, my nigga. The problem is, uh -oh. is that Brazilians have. Uh -oh. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand culture. Let me, cook. Let me cook. I am cooking. I'm cooking fucking Thanksgiving right now, nigga. You about to eat this shit, my nigga? Uh -oh. Hey. Uh oh, they been a scrap. He said he's schooling people, but he's not schooling people. He running around the block. Well, the, only people, hey, the only hey, people. The only people. Come take a seat, real quick. <laughs> take a seat. Bro, these niggas is wild. I done said it already. It was one group of people <laughs> called niggas, wrong, and that's American <laughs> slaves. <laughs> niggas and the Indians too. Native Americans. Was American you a slave as well? Was you a slave? My ancestors was. How you know? What you mean? How I know? How you know? Do you know? Do you know your? Do you know I your do, Absolutely. We know you was a slave, my nigga. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is this: that foundational Black American shit. Why he looked like that nigga Peel? Uh, Key and Peel, the the little one. <laughs> Don't he look like the the little Key and Peel, bro? Oh, I'm about to clip this up. 
He looks like little Key and Peele. That's some bullshit. That's, At the end of the day, that's, that's my that personal means, belief. Though. That's what that means. That my means nigga, a group of you gonna people, be viewed as a nigga. That means you eat the a group opium, of right? people. You eat the opium, right? Damn, how he know? All the these niggas is my niggas, but I'm saying. <laughs> okay, then. That's the word, so you with me, my but nigga? The word started. I'm saying who the started, started the word with who? With a group, a specific group of people that was already who was the, who here. Who was the people, my nigga? The Native Americans. My nigga, they didn't call yeah, niggas yeah, niggas, yeah, my nigga. And the niggas that came on the same no, shit. No, nigga. Them two group of people. Yeah, nigga. It's called niggas. No, we make no niggers. Come oh, on. Oh, oh, he done added the ER. He trying to fight. He trying to fight. He trying to fight. And P says, in a relationship, a man should pay 100% of the bills. Only rich niggas say that shit, bro. Only rich niggas say that shit, bro. Only rich niggas that's rich or niggas that's, that's got, like, that got, that's making good money. You know what I'm saying? As a regular nigga, and I'm looking at both sides. If I could, trust me. And this is. Hold on, y'all. Just. I am sorry. I promise you that won't happen again. Um, as a regular uh, working ass dude or whatever, I wish I could pay all the bills. I do. I wish. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a man, a real man, he want to take care of his lady and his kids. So, me, if I could pay all the bills and she not have to pay the bills and still have money to, to, to splurge on her, on the kids, take trips, all this shit. Fuck hell yeah. But see, I'm not there. I'm not there yet. Some some dudes aren't there yet. They can only pay their way. Meaning they split bills in half, right? And as long as you still handling your business with the kids, spoiling your girl, buying her shit, treating her nice, all that good stuff, then you good. Yeah, you paying your half of the bills, but you know, you still giving back. You know what I'm saying? And that's just um that's just on bills or uh, housework that's different. I'm not finna get into that too much because I'm not too good at that either. But you know, one thing I know, I know how to make a little bit of money. I think you guys are trying to paint this with a black and white brush, and it's not that simple. Okay. I think it depends if you guys are both financially in the same place. My husband and I went through graduate school together. We were both poor, so we both were financially in the same place. Right. So we split rent, we split everything, even after we were married. From how I look at it, it's like, I'm the man, right? And I should be, you know, uh, taking care of my household 100%. However, I think that if in a scenario that- All these niggas got money, remember that. I'm not able to, my partner should catch me on the way down if, if, if I need that, because I know how life works. Your team. I know how team. Life works That's what it's shit. all about, bro. As a black woman who dates primarily black men, I think that we should start paying attention to how, not all, but a lot of black men don't make as much as a lot of black women. I'm one of the women that probably makes six figures compared to a lot of black men that I've dated. You yeah. single now? Huh? No, no, my bad. Go ahead. The thing do, do, is, do, I'm not do. opposed to dating someone who makes less than me, but the thing is, the men I've come across that have dated are intimidated by what I make, and it becomes an issue to where they feel it. Bro, I would not be intimidated. I ain't gonna lie. I did, I was, I almost felt the way. Cause my baby mama had got like a raise or something. She was making like either the same as me and maybe like a couple cents more than me. And at, I, I felt the way cause for the longest, I was always making more, bring, you know, bringing home the bacon. That's what I felt like I contributed. Like she could cook, she's a, she clean. Like, man, she's she's goaded at everything. So I'm like, all right, well shit, all I, 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 I bring in the money. Like I bring in good money. So when she started beating me on that, that's when I was like, oh, okay. But see, that's not, that's because I wasn't confident in myself. You know what I'm saying? I, like now I realize, okay, you gotta be able to do more than just bring in money, obviously, right? That, you know, that's goes be, uh, without saying, but, you know, if you date a woman that makes more than you, you have to be secure in yourself that, all right, she may make more than me, but like, I'm going to kill it at this. I'm going to learn how to be a gourmet chef. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to bring your own thing because if you're useless, what she did, what she, what she need you for? You know, you got to be able to bring something to the table, you know, and not just good D either. Like, yeah, she she can get good D anywhere, right? But she, need, she needs more than that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what... I guess some dudes don't seem to understand. Intimidated. How'd that make you feel? Did that make you sad? Yeah, it made me sad. How did your ex-partner make you feel like uh, it wasn't being appreciated? What was he doing? We're not going out or if we're not necessarily seeing each other constantly like we were and it's a money issue, then yeah, you would bring it up. I'm not, I'm doing everything but rent, bro. Oh, rent? Is I, I, I do too. I think as a man, you should 
take care of your girl. You know what I'm saying? I think you should take her on, take her on nice dates. I agree. Take her on nice trips. If you can, pay for her nails. I understand everyone does. Can I ask you a question? Okay. Girl card just broke down. Fuck it. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead, whatever you need. Hey, so Wait, no, she... I remember my homeboy, and I'm gonna finish a video after this. He, like, I told him, cause I, like, I got, I was on drugs. And I couldn't really do nothing for my baby, mama, my kids, nothing. So when I finally started making a little money and was able to hold on to it, I was so excited. I'm like, man, I'm about to get my uh my baby mama hair, my baby mama's uh feet done, like hands and feet done. I was so excited, like you couldn't tell me shit. I thought I was big dog. And my I told my homie right, he was a little older than me, right, been through life or whatever. And he was like, that's it. Boy, I felt so offended. I often was like, hey, we can go outside right now. But he was a little tall, so I knew I was going to have to knock his ass out with a little something, something real quick. But I was like, hold on, hold on. Like, why are you, why are you coming at me like that? Like, I'm obviously trying to do something for my lady. You talking about that's it. That nigga said, bro, that's regular. That's normal, nigga. Like, what you, you finna take her on a trip? Gonna take her to, you know, Jamaica? You gonna, you know, check out the town? You know? And at the time, once again, being small-minded, I was upset because I felt like, damn, nigga, like, why can't you get a, you know? But I saw where he was coming from. I'm like, oh. That is regular, like, you know, for, and for one, you shouldn't be bragging anyway, because that's your, that's your lady you're supposed to do for her, right? But the fact is, you need to try to do something that normal niggas can't do or wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Any nigga trying to get in her draw is going to pay for her nails. $100, $150, not boots. Niggas do that shit all the time. But what you going to do that's going to, like, change her mind, like, you know, blow her mind type shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I was like, oh. I gotta step my game up. <laughs> Still ain't been able to do it just yet, but I'm working on it. Get a new car. Fuck it. New car crazy. Fuck it. I'm serious hey. though. But it's like, hey, but, but, why, but look, why am I in a relationship with someone that I care about? And if I, I, I'm saying, if you got it, why not? Your girl up 10 mil. Yeah, she better go you, ahead. You, you know you what I'm saying? Up, but she, she like you though. I think everyone's dynamic depends on each person. As a man, I know it's about pride and shit like that, but Phantom asked you about the new car. Yeah. You said, fuck it. Yeah. Right? Flip it, you broke. And your girl trying to buy you a car. You I, saying, fuck it? I would want her to reciprocate that same energy because relationships are not just yes. transactions. It's I about agree. love at the end of the day. People, I agree. people aren't considering love. Yes. Damn. Depends on what stage of a relationship you're in with a woman. If you're just strictly dating, then you do what you do. You pay for dinner, things like that, basic transactions. But you don't pay her rent. You don't pay her car. No, she doesn't probably even live with you at that point. Right. Right. But I still believe that a woman should partake. If you're young enough, you both are working, you're building for the greater good of your whole entire relationship. Your retirement, everything down the road, your children, if they go to college or not, that's what you're both are working for. But if I am doing 100%, if I chose to do that, I think a woman should still have shit going on financially. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. You don't want them to be lazy. Yeah, yeah. I, because I, if you're paying for everything, she should sign a prenup. Because if you're responsible for it all, then when, if you leave, you leave with it all. Mm, that nigga preaching like a... Hey, now that's my nigga. <laughs> That's my hey, hey even Duke had to give video, him love. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. We're closing in on seven million yeah. subscribers, man. Make seven million. Hey, we're gonna see y'all next week, man. Yeah. Bye. Oh man, I haven't watched the A and P video in a minute, bro. All right, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. Was that was that I, I felt I haven't done a video in a minute that actually I enjoyed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been doing a lot of videos just because I feel like I have to. It's kind of. But this video, I was able to, like, talk and, you know, give my opinion. Tell y'all a bit, a bit, uh, a little bit about what I've been having going on in my life and comparing it to theirs. And, you know, I had good, I had fun. Th thank you for bringing me here. I appreciate it. All right? We're going to go ahead and close it out. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers. What? Seal, Seal, you, you trying to come over here? No. What you got to say, Pop? You haven't said it in a long time, huh, Pop? Speak. Okay. Bye, bye. Yeah. All right, guys. Now we out. <laughs>